how to start an online business from scratch. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I wanted to focus on how you can start an online business from scratch. Now this is for some of you guys who haven't yet started your business or maybe you have started your business but you want an extra side hustle or, or an extra income then this is the video for you. So I'm not on my own in this video. I've teamed up with a friend of mine Ollie Thorpe. He has a YouTube channel on social media marketing and also on tips on how you can make money online. So make sure you go and check out his YouTube channel and Ollie, can you give us a few tips on how we can actually make money as social media influencers. Now what is a social media influencer? It is essentially someone that influences their audience online. Now that might be in fitness, business, you know pretty much any category you can think of when it comes to a personal or business brand online. Now I used to be in the fitness community so I used to have brands reach out to me, um, you know nutrition companies, supplements companies and they would basically either send you some sort of air package or something like that in order for you to promote their brand online. So social media influencing is definitely something that is going to grow in the up and coming years. I believe personally from a marketing side of things when you look at like Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, etc., etc., companies are investing a lot more into influencers because influencer marketing is so powerful because if you build up a brand around yourself and your own uh, beliefs and your own, you know, your own morals, then if you have a loyal audience, I know for a fact, like I can tell you from past experiences, that companies would 110% rather invest in a smaller influencer that's only got a thousand followers or you know 10,000 followers, rather than someone with like 400,000 followers because they know that the, the thousand people that follow this smaller influencer are really, really and truly loyal to that individual. So influencer marketing is definitely something that you could get into. Thanks Ollie. and as well as being a social media influencer, you might want to create an audience on YouTube. Now once you build an audience on YouTube, you can actually start earning money through AdSense. So AdSense basically is when a, a video is played, an advert is played just before your video starts on YouTube, you as a YouTuber are actually given a percentage of what the advertiser is paying to advertise in front of your audience. Now Oli actually has a really great video on how to qualify for the AdSense program and I'll leave that video in the description down below. If you're considering starting a YouTube channel then 100% I would recommend checking that video out. But if you really want to do well with YouTube AdSense then there are a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. Now firstly you want to make sure that your YouTube channel has at least a thousand subscribers. You also need to have a minimum of 4,000 hours watched within the last 12 months. So these are a few things that you need to keep in mind. But also there are some types of content that not all advertisers will want to advertise against and YouTube understand this. So you might limit your earnings on YouTube if you're using profanity for example in your videos. Um, also if you have adult related content that's not suitable uh, for all audiences or on the flip side to that you might be creating a YouTube channel that is specifically for kids and now YouTube have actually stopped advertisements running against videos that show to kids. So if you're creating content in any of these niches then that's going to limit your ability to earn money with YouTube AdSense. So you wanna keep your videos clean, you want to have a clear and concise vision with your YouTube channel to help attract brands that would actually want to advertise against your videos. Keep it professional, don't use any profanity, keep it entertaining and make sure that you're actually putting videos out there that companies would want to advertise against, then this is going to help you make the most money possible with your YouTube AdSense. So another way in which you can build an online business is obviously by selling physical and digital products online. So physical products obviously are products that you can physically hold and send out to your customers and digital products are products that you can create and upload online so people consume them online. So these might be online courses and so on and so forth. And Ollie's gonna give us a little bit of an introduction into selling products online and some of the things you can do 
in order to be successful selling your products. You have more than likely so heard about Shopify, eBay, Amazon, etc., etc. All of these companies are simply selling stuff online. So a couple of things you could look into is Amazon FBA. Obviously, this is the the scheme where you can set up your own Amazon shop and of course Amazon do all the fulfillment side of things. You could alternatively set up some sort of like WordPress shop for selling your physical product. Sam would be a great person to, to talk to about that. You know, he's really good with Wix, WordPress, etc. So selling physical products, definitely a good idea. My biggest tip for selling a physical product, mainly stick to like one product. You'll see a lot of people that do Shopify stores and they'll have thousands and thousands of products. My biggest tip is have one, one two, three maximum core products that you sell and then really try and build a brand around those products. So selling stuff on Shopify is a really good idea. Essentially what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be the bridge and you're gonna be the middleman from a supplier to the customer. Now, me personally, I think this all revolves around branding and essentially creating an actual business. Even if you're only doing it off of one, two, three products, uh, really focus on building a brand around those products and I can almost guarantee you will thrive doing so. The next one is selling digital products online. So the main difference between a digital product and a physical product is of course, you're not gonna have something sent to your house after you've made that purchase. Now, what are a few things that you could potentially sell as a digital product? Ebooks, courses, you can go so far when, when you think about these things. Um, you know, I have a content calendar that I sell um, on my website and I essentially use these type of products as like down sales from my main core services. So let me just give you an example. Uh, if I get a potential customer on a Zoom call, for example, and you know we're talking about our service X Y Z, and um, you know they they simply do not have the money to pay for this service, I could just be like, okay, cool, um, absolutely fine, no problem. Um, this may have some interest to you, um, and it's essentially like a done for you course around the service that I'm selling. This way, I'm making the most of that low hanging fruit that potentially is you know they're gonna go get someone else's service. It's like, okay, if they can't afford my main service, maybe they can afford this uh, down sell essentially. So another way that I have managed to monetize this, and I know for a fact that Sam has managed to monetize this sort of method, is creating digital courses and teaching people how to use certain softwares. Now, one thing that I teach people how to do is how to run a social media marketing agency and for them to get their first client. So after coaching multiple students, um, on Zoom calls, you know, face to face, uh, predominantly Zoom calls. Let's be honest. Um, but you know, after after me coaching uh, a lot of people, and you know, me physically having to spend an hour out of my day every single time I'm getting on one of these coaching calls, what I'd done after I had a solid process of how I get my students from A to B, I essentially put this all into one big package and into one digital product. And now that is what you can you can basically come to me and uh, enroll in my course, which is all around getting your first client online. Digital courses, definitely, definitely, like that's probably up there like with my highest regarded thing because essentially what you're doing is you're, you're putting in a lot of effort now and you're gonna reap the benefits later. Because if you sell a digital course, then you, you know, you're gonna have to do all of the work up front, but then once you have that product, it's literally there forever. So, you know, I could have digital products that I made three years ago, still bring in recurring income for my business, you know, even though I, ha I, haven't, I haven't even touched it for three years. Now, another really great way to sell products online is by utilizing print on demand. Now, I've spoken about print on demand a number of times on this YouTube channel because I think it's a really great opportunity for you guys. So print on demand means you don't have to inventory any products, so you don't have to waste money on dead stock that just might not sell for you, but you can actually make use of websites such as Printify and Redbubble, for example, all you have to do is create the de designs for the product and upload those designs to these print on demand websites. And then you can just market those products yourself. And when, when someone makes a purchase, 
then those print on demand companies will send those products directly to your customer. So you don't have to spend any money to get started. It cuts out all of the costs involved with creating the product. You can start generating income and actually building a brand. And once you have built a brand and you notice that you're actually starting to generate sizable income, then you might want to go into manufacturing products on your own and maybe increasing your profit margins in that way. But there's no need for you to do that. You know, you should smell what sells, start generating income using print on demand, and then you can always upscale later on down the line. My fourth and final one it is affiliate marketing. This is essential now i'm telling you for a fact affiliate marketing is one of the best ways for you to make money online now i don't typically promote affiliate products um you know on like a day-to-day -day basis there will be people that are deep dived in affiliate marketing that's the only thing they do me personally i sort of just have it around my personal brand and genuinely promote the you know the services and the products and softwares that i use on a day-to-day -day basis so going back to the online coaching and digital products and stuff like that one way that i personally do it is you know in my digital products that i sell that we was talking about prior within that course i'm using softwares and systems and you know websites etc and some of those websites are subscription based so i pay a monthly fee to use those services now this is one way that you can sort of like cross the two over as well so if you have a digital course and you're using a service or a product for you to achieve the results that you're essentially teaching people how to do within your course then it is within your rights to put the affiliate course or the sorry your affiliate link within that video then when one of your students is in your course and they're obviously learning your methods and they realize they need to use this software to do so then of course they're probably going to use your affiliate link and you're obviously going to get a little commission for essentially referring them to that software so affiliate marketing definitely definitely a really good thing for you guys to get into and um, you can literally use affiliate marketing as like your main business model me personally i just sort of have it run it in the background and you can definitely get some pretty good commissions on a monthly recurring basis if you choose the right products. Holly, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the information. I also did an interview on Ollie's channel as well. So if you guys want to know how I have built my business up, then make sure you go and check that video out. Links to it will be in the description down below. Um, also make sure you go and check out Ollie's channel as well. Go and subscribe. He has some really great content on his channel if you are looking to make money online and if you're interested in social media media marketing definitely go and subscribe to his channel but I really do hope that this video brought you value I also have the formula guys so if you're really looking to make money online then you must download the formula this is going to teach you the fundamentals to drive in quality traffic and converting that traffic into tangible leads and sales a copy of it is behind me I will also leave a copy of it in the description down below and somewhere on this screen it's absolutely free so go and download it that's going to show you how you can make money regardless of what business you choose to do online but if this video did help you out then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day download the formula and i will see you soon